the 30 pounder disinformation started out well over 30 pounds. Norwalk's rules, the NHRL rules, are unusual. So you have a weight bonus if you have a multibot. You have more than one robot competing as an entry. And so I took advantage of that when I competed at the NHRL event. And the main robot for disinformation was 33 pounds when I competed at the NHRL. And we had a, a, a another small robot uh, driven by Johnny. He was a great teammate for this stuff. But I had an extra robot to qualify for this weight bonus. And the robot did really well, performed really well. I could see lots of potential for doing other stuff with it down the road. While I was at the NHRL event, uh, an opportunity presented itself. Um, the guy who runs the Robocore event in Brazil was talking with one of my teammates and was trying to convince us to go down to fight at the Robocore event in Brazil. And so we agreed to this. So I'm going to take my 30-pounder disinformation to the Brazil event. Uh, the problem is they don't have this particular weight bonus, and the robot had to go from 33 pounds down to an honest 30 pounds to compete. So we started out with a drum that was basically solid all the way through. Um, the drum itself weighed around 12 and a half pounds when I competed at the NHRL event. And I ended up having to take a couple of pounds out of this to be able to legally compete with the 30 pound category at Brazil. I worked really hard machine in this part that I just cut off. Yay. All right, let's see what we lost in the process. That is one pound, 11 ounces, so we did good. We did good. Um, so the upside to that then is I don't need to pull a full two pounds out of the weapon. So pound and a half out of the weapon. Well, yes and no, because I, I have to take into account the weight of the back panel. So, taking off one pound, 11 ounces, and we're putting back on nine. Okay, so a pound and two ounces. So we're, all of this is working really well. We're gonna be, they get a pound, a net loss here, and a near two pounds out of the weapon. We should be able to make weight at 30. One of the reasons that disinformation was so heavy was the amount of mass I had spent in the weapon, which is a good thing, but it's my problem now. So, just the bare aluminum drum, nine and a half pounds, sprockets, bearings, and all of the bolts which are the impact teeth. So this is my rotating mass in a 30 pound robot was over 12 pounds. And there just isn't that many other spots in the robot to take weight out of. And so although it's sort of against my nature to go with a lighter weapon, the simple truth is to make this pass safely, I'm gonna have to take some material out of the drum. So I need to try to do that in a way that I lose weight they don't lose a lot of the moment of inertia I need to have the big hits. So, what I'm planning on doing is, here's where the impactors are mounted on both sides. I'm gonna do a 90 degree pattern for that. Both sides, machine. So what I'm going to end up with then, still be supported where the bearings are, which is the most important part. Being supported in the center, fairly thick piece to keep it from flexing and whatnot. 
I am going to lose some energy in the weapon by using this material, because I'm planning on taking out around 2 pounds out of this one. But it won't affect where the teeth are mounted. It should still have plenty of strength, should still have plenty of hit. It had a, it had a lot of energy. So, uh, that's the game plan, so <laughs> let's get to machining. So I took a pound out of the frame, which is about the most I could make happen. And then I had to take two pounds out of the weapon. So we ended up machining some pockets through the side to take that weight out. And when it was all said and done, this looked pretty good. I did make weight exactly at 30 pounds. So we had the opportunity at that point in time to test this out at the open sauce event. So I was able to complete the robot, get it ready at 30 pounds and take it there to tear up some Roombas and some stuff for entertainment in the arena. And I would have done that sort of thing anyway. I love interacting with the crowd. I love doing that. But this gave me the chance to make sure everything I did was balanced correctly because you do a lot of machining on a drum like that because I'm spinning it very fast and it's got to be near perfect or it'll just shake itself to death. And it all turned out really well. I was really happy with it. And so now we've got the opportunity to go down to Brazil and compete at 30 pounds, and it weighs 30 pounds exactly. And uh, we'll see how that event goes.